things I am lost. And I am scanned. And let's, let's enter the Hall, Hall of the Mountain King, King together. Yeah, yeah. Okay, welcome. So I just had this thing of the Hall of the Mountain King is playing here. Like uh, in the scene, obviously, uh -huh. but in the lobby of the hotel. Just imagine it's playing in the lobby of the hotel. You and Phoenix come downstairs. You know, you don't have any bags. You're both, you know, slept in your clothes, that kind of thing. Right. But you get this. You're just kind of looking around like, oh, it's the Hall of the Mountain King as he's checking out kind of thing. Uh -huh. And you know, these two people, the two other dragons just come in in time with the beat of... And Smile just going, that's a little surreal. Hello? Like, whoa. All right, anyway. Hello. Uh, uh, guys, please, it's not like that, okay? Uh, how did you even know where to find us? We checked every hotel. We just followed the sound, the, the smell of a burn, betrayal. Of betrayal. <laughs> of smoke and betrayal. Uh -huh. uh. We tracked Small's phone. You didn't call my phone, but you tracked me? Okay, Edward Cullen. Really? What the absolute shit? That's called So stalking. I had my phone with me the entire time. I never came home from work or contacted anyone. And either my, my grandpa and both of you never called to ask if I was okay? Again? Really? Thank you, never you texted Edward me Cullen. Or called me or anything, Mr. Gray? Holy shit! Yeah. That was actually in the original Toilet book, though, too, which is was still... it? Yes. He tracked her phone. Yes. That I was how no he idea. drove up there. Remember those guys that he fights? I like, only ever read the first one. That's okay. It was in the first one. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm like, the it whole was. studio thing with the phone. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, fine. It's fine. I'm like, holy shit! No, they totally tried. You what? You didn't call me. You didn't text me. You didn't anything. You just tracked I'm my 21. phone. I'm twenty-one. I am a 21-year-old adult. You have my contact information and apparently my phone tracker ID. Holy Even my shit. grandpa didn't text me to ask me why I didn't come home or call me. That is so weird. Guys, do you know so how strange I... that feels? You really are in panic mode of try to win small, aren't you? Because you're not thinking rationally at all. Huh? You what? Huh? I... I'm sorry. We had to. You can't remember how buttons work. We had to! Honestly, like, that's super stupid. Like, we had to. You wouldn't answer your phone. You need to say, okay, so wait, how could we fix this scene? How could we do this? So, the thing is, is if we had to track your phone, going, we had texted and called you all night long and you'd gotten no answer. And her going, oh, my phone was on silent. I'm also I forgot about it. Fucking bullshit. My biggest problem with this is that Small has done stuff on her own at night without, as far as we know, contacting anyone. So, because it's never been explicitly on screen, now, I would argue, yes, that there's been people who've probably contacted her. She's probably texted them outside of what we've seen. Yeah. But if you're going just explicitly with a text, because she seems to only have a phone when it's when it's plot relevant, plot, yeah. which is weird. So that means that basically she hasn't contacted a lot of people before. Uh -huh. Actually, for a lot of stuff, they're literally throwing this in here just for drama with Phoenix. Yep, like that was kind of like this stupid thing in relation to going, ah, oh, yes, look, the Dragon Elders didn't know who the actual princess was. Except spoilers, they totally fucking they totally did. They totally knew, because and they then, it was then confirmed had to, later by Dylan that they totally, totally knew. knew. And I'm like, so that literally basically deflates your drama. I'm like, no! So you don't, in You also opinion, cannot usually just reverse hack somebody's fucking phone like that. It is not specific. a standard skill. Him, I'm an electrical dragon, I can do it. What? what? That makes you, that makes you a hacker? What? Whoa. I no can't offense to find a... the code. I can't. Oh my god. He's... Okay, so if you guys haven't seen the video, I fucking laughed my butt off about it. But it was literally himbos, uh, like, and and am I my like I don't mean it in a mean way, but it was super funny of just like himbos, uh, like uh, it was it was, it was a himbo hacker or okay. whatever it was. But it's just this big huge buff dude who just sits there and he flexes his pectorals Onto on a keyboard. keyboard and going, I can't find the source of. This. And he literally does just flex one side or the other and makes typing noises and uh -huh. everything. He types on the keyboard, like keyboard smash with your tits kind uh -huh, of thing. It was and then like I can't get, I can't find the code. I can't like it's really uh -huh, cute. It's super funny. It's very charming. He looks adorable. Oh, uh, he's very cute. So I'm and I, like, I say cute in a very complimentary way. Like, yes, it's clever and fun. Uh huh. And also again, like at least for me, I understand some people don't find it to be those things, but I'm like it was just sort of charming and cute yes. in that sense. And it's like not the whole meant to behavior. Him himself was probably a yeah, pretty nice looking guy. Yeah. Like he looked like he really took care of himself and really was having a fun uh -huh. time with the way he delves his body, going, I can type on a keyboard with. Well, Watch, Watch this! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, like he looked like he was having a blast. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we uh, had to. I no, you didn't. We were so worried. We didn't know what had happened to you. And again, you didn't call me, or text me, or anything. You know what would have been actually interesting if they're like, "How how did you find me?" And they're like. Well, we just called around. To, we just checked the bookings on the local hotels. Except that they're not supposed to let you know who's there. 
The thing is, is you ask if it's yours. Do you have a reservation for me under this name? I tried to place one, and uh, it didn't, and I don't know if it went through. Uh, well, so now we're teaching you how to break the law here. But okay, genuinely, so. like in regards to customer service, like you're not supposed to be, to be able to ask about other people's yes. reservations. But if they don't know it's another person, they can be like, he used his real name. We knew right? no one else would have that name. Right? <laughs> His Which, name is Phoenix Inferno, okay? Right? <laughs> he would! And it's also like, but that's so stupid! I say either that, or you could just be like, literally, he asked Grandpa where's a good place to book a hotel, so we right? came here. Now, why did it take you all night to do that? Who the hell knows? Or we didn't know which room you were in, of course, because we couldn't. So that, or Grandpa was asleep, and we fat, we freaked out all night long until in the morning he went, oh yeah, Phoenix asked me where a good hotel was, I recommended this one. Also, this would be kind of interesting because, okay, so socially, in regards to the romance genre, um, usually people doing this, obviously, is them going, oh God, you had sex last night, right? Uh -huh. Imagine if you didn't pick the premium scene. Right? Would you be like, oh my God, if I picked the premium scene, we what? would have had sex! Would we have had sex? Oh my God, because of this? And so you would have been like, damn it, I missed out, and now I'm motivated to go play the game again or maybe because okay I but i actually like as, as working through this i actually like the idea that since again none of them are from around here even though rye has more context than anyone else if you wanted to have this specific drama kind of you could swearing. literally be them running around like chickens with their heads cut off all night long until grandpa wakes up in the morning goes what are you going on about and then going phoenix and small have both disappeared he's like Oh, well, Phoenix had asked me about a hotel. So Give I them the name. I recommended this. And they're like, they, we then run straight over there. Without listening and to so the rest then, of what Grandpa has to say at all. He's like, yeah, because Phoenix wanted to take you know, small out on a special date. and so Like I was, you'd like, all been doing, special dates. Right? And so I recommended this. And they're going, this. nope, he's unique. So again, I was going to say, it would be a really great thing to use your characters. All the time people go, I hacked your phone. I did this thing. I traced whatever. And going, use your other character knowledge. Different people and different characters have different things. Now, being in management, that's one of the, like, that I have done for many years in the past. Going, it's really cool to learn what the strengths are and resources of your team. Yeah. And to use them. But that also translates really well to writing, where instead of having someone do something in avoid by myself solving all problems with no community whatsoever i am an island which honestly gets tiring for me after a while it really does to go it's actually interesting and clever to go i use the resources of the people around me and it would actually be a really fun plot point to have phoenix go hey grandpa where's a good place i could take small for my date right you know like how much fun would that be and then him just going your grandpa told us about it this morning right it wouldn't be really fun like and could... honestly it would also be hilarious to watch them like the idea of them worrying about it all night not knowing what to do which is sad for them and i'm sorry but comedically it would work yes. and then he just has the answer in the morning yes you know so there there are other ways to do this that aren't just i hacked your phone it was necessary without texting or calling me ever now you just sound to me and possessive to me it just sounds dumb because why wouldn't they call no kidding! That sounds like a huge oversight in the writing. It just feels like, why would you ever leave this out? Also, he's texted her before. Rai has functionally texted with Small on uh -huh. screen. We know he can do this. Yep! Alright, we didn't know what happened to you. <sighs> yeah, you could have said something, Phoenix! As if you told me all of your plans for all of your dates. Yeah, you totally told me about the damn string lights and everything else you were doing. And every time you ever tried to hang out with her. And the time I you mean... climbed in through her window that I had to hear about later. Yeah, you totally planned all that with me. Chill the fuck out. Oi. Uh. Hey, what Small and I do in our private time is, well, it's private. Did I ask you to exposit your entire dates to me? Did I ask every detail about the aquarium, even though I was fascinated about the damn fish? Did I ask you every detail about your damn mansion and what you did there with her, even while we waited outside on the couch? Like, no, I did it. It's private, okay? We've all been respectful of each other's privacy and haven't watched about, asked about the damn sandwich date either. We just let it happen. So you can let it happen, all right? Chill. <sighs> Well, you've hogged her enough, Phoenix. I'm a whipper up and t small. Hog her myself. <laughs> I've actually spent the least amount of time with him as with any of you. Just you know, actually speaking. Speaking of which. Yeah. Hi. And also, like, he's the least amount of drama compared to. Oh all my of God! You. Since when do you need help with anything? What? Come on, I, I have some things I need help with today. Wait. I'm also like, why are you suddenly directing us? You have to go with us. You're not asking anymore. Now this is actually this. way more direct. Like, okay, I know Phoenix's thing was basically an invasion of, I'm going to physically grab you and force you to do something. Uh-huh. Right? But it's also but like... again, he was having one of those private experiences the way a lot of them had of going, this is something really fun in my culture. I'd like to share it with you. Right. Now... It, it doesn't mean you're getting participation, yes. but all of them have done some level of, I am having experience on my own, and I'm involving you in it. Even um, Dylan did it in the yeah, park. Yeah, I know. When you passed out from psychic you know, exposure. Yeah, I mean, like, just some of it, like, especially though, like, in front of all the rest of them, too, like, part of me is also, like, this sounds way more deliberately, like, 
dude, chill the fuck out. Yeah, like it's super. Like you guys are just up but to I at least hope somebody why. else does it. You can be my assistant. Consider it your punishment. You don't have what? the right to punish me. Like Ray, you have no right to punish what me. What the absolute? This is or is he talking the... to Phoenix? Is he talking to Phoenix in this? I because if he was talking to Phoenix and they have that kind of a relationship between them of going, I am going to basically you socially behaved inappropriately based on what we were doing. And so your punishment is you get to help me. I I hope it's about Phoenix because whoa, what the? Oh God! Oh, it God, is, it is about Phoenix. That Jesus. makes way more goddamn sense. They should have made that clear. Also, though, that doesn't make like any fucking sense. No, it doesn't. Like that still doesn't work at all for me. I guess it makes slightly more sense, but that seems dumb as hell. On the other like, hand, again, they te- said, like part of me is also like, like we're gonna abuse the more like sexually open one. Like I've seen it in basically shows a lot actually, where the one who tends to be more the confident sexual one, the other like members try to basically keep under control. Yeah, which is like. What is with the level of, like, sex shaming going on? And also going, you're the bad guy. You're the bad, because, you know. Because of this, you are you are the inappropriate one. You are the bad one. You are the 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 unacceptable one that needs to be kept in like check. Like, the other person, again, wasn't involved and couldn't say no, or that they didn't even say yes. Again, a small, in theory, should have had an option to go, please just take me home. Right? Like, that would have been made sense if Phoenix is saying, hey, I want to do this. But you still get to consent to it because dating, we all understand now, is a consensual thing between two people. They have to yeah. both choose to go on You're the date. You both have to be involved. So it would have been cool if there was an option for Small to just go, Phoenix, please just take me home. Right? And right. then he goes, oh, okay. And he does it. Right? Like, that would have been a, basically a big solidifier of going, Small still has agency and they're not forcing her However, this. again, Small really hasn't had any choices in regards to any of the other dates she anyway. Hasn't. Which has been really one of the things I'm like, why are we specifically then going out of our way in the narrative to punish Phoenix other than to basically punish potential sex? Or again... Which feels like creepy and sort of weird reinforcement of a lot of like basically American stereotypes of your dad's gonna come home and make sure you get home with the shotgun. You know, I was waiting for you to get home at 10 o'clock. Like that is an unfortunate... It feels super weird that they're going now like, we're gonna react super hard because again what's so different about this date than the other dates except that it happened at night we have been with the other ones for hours across the uh-huh. day especially with dylan an aquarium date is not do short. people do people really think sex doesn't happen during the day let alone <laughs> the date of going you tried to show off for me in a fighting arena and then we went and spent the day get... at a at a, th- a theme park uh, or an amusement a, park an amusement yeah. park that one and going that is also not short you yeah. spent many hours with these boys okay yeah like this is not remarkable he also picked you up late in the night and it's now morning so well, I... I appreciate that, yes, oh my god, he's stolen you, we didn't know where you are. That's appropriate. You just disappeared off the face of the map. Going, his date is inappropriate versus ours because it happened at night. Again, going so... Again, this nothing is Nothing happens where, during the day. To me, what the writer has done is go, I don't like Phoenix. Phoenix is literally just here for contrast. And, and for comedy, the butt of the for... joke. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Anyway. Honestly, like, if I was going to say, like, right now, I'd probably end up just picking Phoenix just out of sheer spite. Because... I hate you, Arthur. I'm going to pick him. All right. Right? I'm like, Phoenix I don't... grumbles as Rye ushers him out of the lobby. It's just Dylan and me now. I, Hi. It's Dylan's turn again? I don't know. What? I can't imagine how traumatized you must be after a night with Phoenix. I've already spent this a whole night with him. This feels like water dragon racism. Okay. This also feels worse because we've already spent a whole night with him, with them sanctioning it, essentially, because that was our first date with him. Yeah. Okay, so, so this feels, again, like poor writing, simply because both of them were aware that our first date was an overnight sleeping together. Yeah. Like, and they didn't have a problem with that. Their problem here should be that he kidnapped you and they didn't have contact with you. Not that you spend the night together because you've literally already done it together and they all knew each other were doing dates with you and that was the date. I don't it like It happened this. at night, overnight, and you came back in the morning. Like, but Phoenix again, has already established this so it doesn't make sense for it to be a problem now. There's also the thing, though, too, I'm like, okay, so maybe, like, one of them getting up more upset than the other. Like I said, water dragon racism. I could kind of see that from Dylan because Dylan is also deeply, like, personal and very much, like, stop, this is intimacy. Like, I could see him having that cultural thing. That's fine. And being in a building is way different than being out in the bush. Right? And I could see that being a contrast. Okay, like, fair. Like, like again, I, I would be that. fine with Dylan, but Rye also being in on it pisses me off. Like, again, this level of going, like, the Phoenix really does feel like the odd man out. That's why I'm like, for the writing, he really is like the odd dude out. You're not really supposed to like, in terms of like picking it in regards to like Small's feelings. But again, I'm like, 
They can, they have every right to be upset about the fact that you disappeared. Oh, yeah. That is scary. That is unfair However, for anybody. However, again, for all but... of everybody else's dates, we never had to keep texting everyone, I'm here with Dylan on the merry-go-round. I'm here with Dylan over here. I'm here with Rye doing this thing. I'm and here again, with... going, I'm like, this is so stupid. Does this imply that all the other dates were communicated with everybody, Grandpa and the other two dragons? I guess explicitly. so. Because I have no other way to take it. Because then otherwise, why aren't we getting mad at them? And why haven't other people gotten mad at them? Like, Small, you were gone all day. Yeah, I went to meet Dylan, but you were gone all, all day. day. That kind of thing. That's or what... that, those sorts of things, it just feels very unbalanced. It feels very uneven. So unless we basically go, okay, in this canon, all of them were explicitly communicating timelines for every one of their dates and interactions with Small that kept her away from the ex exposure to the other two, then why is this such a big deal? And again, why is it such a big deal of spending the night with him? Because we've literally already Ready spent done the that. night with yeah. him. And ostensibly, they knew about it because it was in a round robbing of dating that they all asked for at once. And I agreed, yeah, I'll date all of you all at once. Right? And so it's like, this doesn't ah. make sense to me. All right, how traumatized. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Not at all, like, actually. chill the hell out. Remember, I already spent a whole night with him before, and I slept in a sleeping bag because it was cold. I... I thought I mentioned that in the morning because I was a little bit cramped because, you know, in the sleeping bag there wasn't a lot of room, so I kind of had, like, a, a you know, a, like a, a kink in my shoulder for an hour. I'm like, also, again, so for me, personally, there is a level of basically what I dislike is this continual trope also, if men and women have contact, it means sex. If men and women touch each other, like that thing where sometimes guys literally go, I can't have any women who are my friends because I will want to have sex with them. Or because it might become um, sexual. sexual. Or that I have to think about sex, or even women doing it too going like I don't trust basically you know you having a bunch of women as your friends my husband my boyfriend my wife I trust him but I don't trust them which right? doesn't work. I'm like fucking what unless you think they're going to actually assault him like it's it's going to be an illegal situation of right? sexual assault you can't say I don't trust them but I do trust him right I'm like, like the it level doesn't work. of basically though like heterosexual like terror culture in relation to men Super and women awkward. having any contact with each other outside of sex is fucking inappropriate to me like I'm just like why is this a thing no. No. Ah, huh, not at all. Anyway, I'm sorry if I worried you. I assumed you guys would just call me if you know you wanted, you needed something, something, or text me. Phoenix confiscated my phone last night. Um, it was all part of his little silly plan. Okay, so except what? for again, the thing is, is that. So this is implying, okay, so they really have been keeping contact with everyone else, except for the fact that it would be perfectly. What a fucking what? This doesn't work for me. Now uh, you're going like, so oh, now she has been texting the whole time with everybody else, but not with Phoenix? Because Phoenix, oh, well, Phoenix took the phone. I'm like, this is dumb. So I couldn't let anyone know where I went. Or going, obviously, we're implying that they did text and call you first, but her going, well, I couldn't get it because I didn't have my phone. Like, where is this line coming from? What? I'm lost. It was all part of his silly little plan. You know, I would never such a I would never I would such never things. such things with you, right? I no mm. comparing con no. Yes, I understand is... that you are a different person than him. I understand that the three of you are different people. I understand that everyone is an individual. Dylan, are you okay? Are you both okay? Like Jesus. Uh, what? What? I. It's not okay. They have all violated your boundaries based on the actual text on screen. Yes. So it's not like Dylan is just a gentleman. He is different. He has different cultural performance based on where he comes from. So does Rye. So oh my does God. Phoenix. Like holy absolute yeah. shit. What the crap is going okay, on? Okay, okay. Yeah. You're a gentleman, Dylan. Sure. But hey. you would do different things. Well then, this gentleman is at your service for the day. No, I am actually genuinely annoyed. Okay, I, can you just take me home? I need a shower and then I need to go to work. Bye. So at my service, get me to work. Uh, what do you feel like doing? I need to go to work. I need to clean up. I'm yours to command. I'm really this gonna shower so... and go to work. I, I will... will get breakfast with Dylan, get coffee with Dylan. Oh my God, go home so I can go I will change. go home and shower because Ew, we've established on screen to some degree that hygiene is important because people have been bathing. Right. We have also established on screen, now it hasn't been very often, but if it's part of the narrative at all, it can then be considered important to the narrative. Right. So the fact that she's like, I am gross, the first time Phoenix really is aggressive about I'm, I'm looking you up and down. Right. Um, th then it implies that she really does go, after work, I need to clean up. Right. I, that is what I do. 
I do breakfast. I'm a hungry monster. Freaking hell. Well, honestly, we don't have to do breakfast right now. We're going to actually have to go get breakfast later. Ah! So I guess thank you very much, guys, then, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, maybe feel free to share the videos maybe with somebody that if you want to start, like, a conversation with someone. Or uh -huh. basically, if you just kind of want to use our words to talk about something. Or if you think they might laugh their butts off. Yes! We also love to have a good time. Shockingly, yes. believe it or not, we're not just the angries. I know this is a little annoying. Or at least I find it to be a little annoying. I won't put that on you. Because ah. I understand this is also mostly my experience that you're, you're getting to experience. You could just be super entertained by us going off about this, and that's great. And that's awesome, actually. Super More good. power to you, absolutely, because I'm not going to dictate to you what your experience should be. And we nobody should. Use your brain. Use your thoughts. I encourage you to be to mindful and have and question everything. And develop your own opinions. Yes. Yay. Absolutely. And thank you very much for joining us. If, again, you also want to support us more personally, which would be super cool if you did, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. Yep. And I have been Scandal. And I have been lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.